This tire is completely flat. You can literally hear the ice cracking. As it airs up. That's crazy. Look at all the icicles too. Man, my finger hurts so bad, dudes and gals. You guys, this is not good. My finger's dislocated. Oh, I can't believe I did this. Ah, oh, it's pissing me off. Insult, another insult injury. We're low on fuel. Like, way lower than I thought. And I think that's a misread. And I think we'll be fine getting out of here. But man, I, I sure hope so. Like, this is just a really bad mix of scenarios here. Um, and I don't like it. You know, I don't know how much fuel we're gonna use in four wheel drive on the way out. I gotta be a little smarter. This is stupid. Oh, and this one was flat too, so. Yeah, I, I really hope we have enough fuel to get out of here. Should be enough. It's only about 20 miles on dirt, but like I said, you use a lot of different fuel and you're doing this. Oh, all right, here we go. Really didn't want to be leaving. There's all this beautiful snow. Coach Scooch. But uh, we are. Oh, I got to get my Crocs. All right, let's go. Oh, wait. What do you mean? Is my truck seriously not working right now? The key fob has not left the vehicle. It's right here. I know it's really cold. And... What the heck? Are you kidding me, truck? You're not working because you're too cold. I've had this issue before with the Gladiator. This is unreal right now. There's no way that that's the thing. Oh, <laughs> it was just that I didn't have my seatbelt on. All right, we're good. Ow, my pinky hurts. I can't hold my phone. All right, let's drive out of here. This sucks. Cool. What is with this? Like, bad. A lot of events. Like, if I were to get stuck right now, oh my gosh. That would just be a culmination of so many bad things. But luckily, I won't get stuck. You yeah, gotta pay attention, drive good, and conserve gas. This is ridiculous, guys. Why'd you let me do this? Ah. Oh. All right, we're almost to the pavement and thankfully our fuel gauge hasn't moved a ton. So we got 27 mile range, the truck says, which is with 10 miles per gallon, which is terrible. Um, and the nearest town 16 miles. So we should be able to air up, spend a few minutes idling and still be able to get there. Silly man, why do I let so many things like come to a, like this? Look at that, 16 miles left. We're just pulling up. Oh, they got racing fuel out of here. All right. Well, we're airing up the rest of our tires. We got the only snow in town, looks like it. And uh, a part of me, well, other than a little over there, but 
part of me's stoked to be back on the road. Um, even though <laughs> my pinky's just mangled and it hurts. And it's getting swollen. I hope it's dislocated so that they can put it back in place. Because if it's broken, it'll likely just be bent like this forever. And when I bent it in Revelstoke, like the end of it there, bent it down. That's no big deal. That's just a better grip on the handlebars. This is not a better grip on the handlebars. <laughs> so I'm referring to a story I have yet to tell from my travels in the summer of 2022 in Revelstoke, British Columbia, when I broke my pinky mountain biking. You got it, you got it. But that's for another episode. Jeez, Phil, what's with this pinky, man? But yeah, we'll turn this into a positive. We'll head into Prescott, because we're only a couple hours from there, and uh, we're a couple hours from any urgent care or anything. So we'll head into Prescott, and we'll call Kevin and see what Kevin's doing, and uh, maybe stay there. I did forget one crucial thing. I don't have pillows and blankets, so that's no good. But uh, our battery's fully charged again, so that's all happy. It's not cold, but I'll probably end up going to Walmart and buying some more pillows and blankets. Quick, I just took some snow off of my hood, put it in a bag for my uh, pinky. It's five o'clock, we're 45 minutes from an urgent care that closes at seven. So that should be enough time to get me an x-ray real quick on this pinky of mine. All right, I'm four minutes from urgent care. It's 547, I can't do all that one in. I got invited to dinner with Kevin at 6.30. So hopefully we can get this pinky back in shape <laughs> in the next 45 minutes and head to dinner with Kevin. <laughs> I'm kidding, but also not. I'm really, I'm really hungry. And I'm dehydrated. <laughs> and I'm cranky and tired. But I'm also happy and just like whatever. Perspective wise, this is just no big deal. It's fine. Just a little finger issue. sat in these hospital rooms way too much. I've broken like seven bones, had three surgeries. Actually, eight or nine bones probably. If you, if you count this pinky twice, it'd be about nine. <laughs> Mostly from mountain biking and dirt biking. Um, but I seem to break my fingers in stupid ways. I broke this middle finger while I was trying to, I was in a wheelchair with a broken ankle and I was trying to drift it and the tire came off the wheel and I got it stuck and I broke my finger while I had a broken ankle in a wheelchair. It was ridiculous. I crashed my mountain bike when I was 15 once, hitting a double. Came up the double, hit my front wheel, went face first into the ground, broke my nose and ripped my lip off my chin and had 120 stitches in my lip inside to stitch it back on. I've been through a lot, my body injuries and stuff so this is not the <laughs> uh one l p h i l i p yeah just one l okay. yeah thank you nah it just looks so cool our little driveway here pretty cool to drive back in and know that the only tracks in the snow are yours. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> we're finally getting back to the property. We were gonna maybe stay in Prescott tonight, but we ended up hanging out with Kevin until about midnight, 12.30, and we just drove back. Not so great news on the pinky, so let me get some sleep and I'll tell you guys tomorrow. But uh, yeah, what about my pinky? It's really broken. It's like cracked right in half, but like at a diagonal. And he goes, yeah, it kind of like shifted 
it like pushed it down and shifted it out. And I was like, oh. Anyways, we're all good. Um, but yeah, it hurts. And uh, it was a big, big learning lesson in a lot of things. Number one, have the truck ready all the time. I had two flats on it and uh, I knew I was gonna pump it up, whatever. But no, I needed to pump it up right away and have that thing ready to roll because that's my get out of here card. <laughs> So I got to have the truck ready to roll, number one, no matter what, always. Like from not having stuff on the driver's seat and sitting around, that was a big lesson learned. The second lesson learned is I really wasn't out of water. I actually had about five gallons in the truck, but it was just frozen and it wasn't coming out. All I needed to do was run the heater in the truck and, and run that for a while. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Charles. Adventure with Roscoe for the hat. I've been digging it. And... um but anyways, all I had to do was run the heater for a little bit and I would have been fine. I would have been able to get that, the water out of there and I would have had plenty of water. So I wouldn't have been freaking out as much about getting firewood because I, that would be the only thing. Also, I needed firewood. I should have gathered all the firewood I had, put it by the stove and really got a sense of exactly how much I have. Same with water. Not like, oh, I just need more, go get more. Because I was in this panic, like I need more, I need more. But re the reality was I could have got through last night with the firewood I had. So, yeah, you guys, a lot of lessons learned. And uh, appreciate you watching and supporting and, uh, you know, not uh, laughing at me for breaking my pinky and being real dramatic about it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, do all the YouTube type stuff, but mainly do your stuff. And really, you know I'm down to mob, but are you? Down to mob. <laughs>